Can we just do a mic check? Can we roll? Check, check. Perfect. He's good. He's good. <laughs> How you I'm Andrew with the Key West Film Andrew, Festival. Hi, Mark. Mark, very nice to meet you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. All right, I'm going to come over here. We're going to stand in front of this nice little step and repeat here. All right, are you ready? All right, well, we're here at the Key West Film Festival, and we're really excited and honored to introduce Mark Bridges here, who won excellence in costume design here at the festival. And um, I want to know, what are some of your first impressions of Key West and coming down here for this festival? Uh, I was amazed at how beautiful and lush it is, and I was really taken by uh, some of the historic architecture. I had no idea what to expect, and I was really delighted at what I found. Well, obviously, this is the second year that we've done the Key West Film Festival Excellence in Costume Design. Mary Zofres had won last year. Um, your body of work speaks for itself. I mean, obviously, amazing films, not to mention, obviously, the artist, which obviously everyone loved and adored, and obviously the, the critics loved as well. So why don't you tell me a little bit about just the process of, of working on the artist, a film that obviously then became um, such a success, but just the process about that. Right, well, that film was really just a labor of love. Uh, we, it was a very small film, at, and we made it in Hollywood with a French crew, French director, lead actors, even a first AD from France. And, um, you know, I did it my typical way of sort of research and finding and making and fitting. But did the whole process was just a delight because everyone was really there for a labor of love because we had no idea that it would become the hugely well-received film that it was. We were just doing a small, independent film for love, and look what happened. Well, and, and speaking of love, obviously you've worked with Paul on many films. What is it that makes your relationship so special to be able to do all of the films you do with him and be able to take always, it seems to be the next level with, with, the, with the films that you do with him? Yeah, I'm just really lucky to have even started working with Paul Thomas Anderson on his first film. And we've been working 22 years. And Phantom Thread that's coming out in December is our eighth feature together. I really don't know. I think I latched into uh, what he likes. He likes things to be real and sort of uh, intellectualized. And we think about it. We don't just randomly put things on screen. But, and he likes what he sees through in the framing, yet it's simple and believable. So uh, as long as we, he will have me, I'd love to continue collaborating with him. Well, when you're picking projects, is there something that you look for? Like, I mean, obviously you're gonna work with new directors, you obviously work with established directors you have relationships with. What, what, what draws you to a project that, you know, obviously you think, wow, I could do something different here? Yeah, actually, lately I've been choosing projects that uh, give me a challenge that I maybe haven't had before. Um, like I did a film called Jason Bourne because I'd never done an action film like that, like a worldwide travel action film. So I wanted to see if I could do that. And... Um, just, inter you know, I did Fifty Shades of Grey because I wanted to work with uh, Sam Taylor Johnson and I wanted to see if I could uh, do a contemporary love story on the level of billionaire level with bespoke suits and things. So just trying to find things that I haven't done before at this point is, is nice. People call me, in Hollywood a lot of times they will hire you because they liked something that you did, but it's for a very similar project. Uh, I, I'm usually like, I already did that movie, sorry. So what do you think, like, if you had, like, you know, in the next two or three years, what project do you think that you would be excited, really excited to go after? What type of a project or a type of a film? Well, excited and scared, I think, you know, 
really things that would really stretch your abilities artistically and you know personally. I think something like uh, James Bond or uh, you know something uh, very very period where every single thing is made like Middle Ages or Renaissance or something. I think those would really be the Mount Everest of costume design that I'd be willing to take on, you know? No, those, are, those are amazing projects. Well, my last question and, and is, you know, just being down in Key West, what, what has been your experience here with the festival? And I know obviously being honored in, in a costume design um, is something which is a little different, I think, for festivals. I, and it's something that, that, that's important to the Key West Film Festival as far as something different. Um, what, what have been your thoughts on the festival so far? You know, I've just been amazed at the wide range of uh, talent it attracts, whether it be the filmmakers or it be the critics from all over the country, um, celebrities uh, uh, in their own, own fields. And uh, I'm really impressed by that. And then, of course, the hospitality and just Key West itself. Uh, is, is, is an amazing place. I already told my brother this is where we're retiring to. <laughs> it's not such a bad place. I no, mean, we've been not at all. Years and it's no. been, it's been, the, the people here are wonderful. It's I mean, gorgeous. It's, yeah. it's really gorgeous. So lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the microphone. Yes. And you can talk to the camera. Okay. And just say who you are and that you're here at the Key West Film Festival. Okay. I'm Mark Bridges. I'm a costume designer here at the Key West Film Festival. Yes, perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You. Nice to meet you. My pleasure.